Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. This tutorial covers an issue that a lot of folks have had with the Easy Dock Camera version 1.17. It seems that a lot of you cannot use your mouse look or you cannot use the mouse zoom itself. And I also had this issue. I searched the internet day after day after day. Came up with nothing. So I eventually tried something on my own and it appears to have worked for now anyway. Uh, again, I am running Windows version 8.1 and as you can see I am using the Easy Dock camera and this is my mouse zoom. So we're doing good. Center roller on the mouse and this is my mouse look. So we're all good there. Alright, so let's figure out how I got to getting my easy dock camera to work I went into my uh, C drive which is my main hard drive that I have the easy dock program installed on and I went ahead and left double clicked on the uh, easy dock software folder I right clicked where it says easy dock 1.5 even though I'm running 1.17 I went down to properties clicked on that compatibility clicked on that and this is def this is set to Windows 7 I'm not sure why but it works so whatever I went clicked on uh, chain settings for all users and I ticked the run this program as administrator I clicked apply and then I clicked OK and uh, I'm not going to do that right now because easy dot camera is working for me and I don't want to mess it up <laughs> So very much like the uh, dreaded 1628 error, if you haven't had a chance to look at that, if you're having that issue, pretty it's the same setup. So I'm going to click cancel on this because everything is uh, working okay on my computer for now. And I do save for now because you never know. Just for the heck of it, what I did also do was I went into my uh, FSX program and uh, I keep my FSX loose on the C drive. Well, I shouldn't say loose, it's in a folder. It's been suggested that's the best place to keep it due to, due to the permissions in Windows 8 and 8.1. Just makes things go a lot smoother, and I have found that that does work. So, in my opinion, I would install FSX on your C drive in its own folder. I wouldn't go through the program files 86 folder. It's just seems to be too much of a hassle. Anyway, once you're in your FSX folder, you're going to want to find the uh, execute file for FSX, which is right here. And let me zoom in on that so we can see what's going on. I uh, right-clicked on it, and just like what we did for Easy Doc, clicked on Properties. Uh, I clicked on the Compatibility tab change settings for all users and I ticked the uh, this pro uh, run this program as an administrator and that seemed to help out immensely I have not had any issues yet with the easy deck since uh, going that route but I imagine knowing there's going to be an update sometime it's going to goof everything up and we'll have to come up with another answer. But for now, that's all I have. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe. we got some really cool videos coming up. Both uh, some cool flight videos and uh, more tips, tricks, and how to do this and how to get there from here. Thank you once again for watching.